It's just okay. It's just an ayah that's now, put together. The, the, me, the message, the you, message of Islam, is what submission to God is what submitting to God. That's not, that's false because the message okay. of Islam is to submit to Muhammad, not to Allah. Sure. Show me where. Everywhere. Here we go. If uh, if we go in the Quran right now, which one? Like, have you ever heard of verses about muta? Uh, yeah, perhaps. Okay. I'm not finished. So, I'm your like... prophet, he received a command from Allah saying, do muta. Mm -hmm. Your prophet never received command from Allah saying, don't do muta no more. Muhammad, according to the hadith, he said, don't do muta no more. So, do you obey Allah in the Quran where he says, do muta in chapter 4, verse 24? Or you obey Muhammad, where he says, don't do muta, no more. And Muhammad is saying this based off of what Quranic verse? No Quran verse. There's no Quran to forbid the muta. No more. There's no. I change any Muslim in the world. Okay. Uh, where, where's the hadith? Where is what? The hadith. Where ah, is it? Okay. Where is the status? Okay, here we go. Let us show you. The funny, my voice was going before you call me. Now I have better voice. All right. <laughs> and anything I say to you here, you can check it out, take the reference, you can download the video later, and you can ask any Muslim sheikh as you wish. And you can invite okay. sheikhs to debate me. Here we go as an example. I will, by the way, I will. I'll, good, I'll have... very good. So here it says, it says that in the Battle of Khaybar, which is Muhammad killed the Jews, uh, Allah Messenger forbade the temporary marriage muta. Do you see it? Uh, I think it's loading. Okay. Yes, I see it now. Okay. So if Allah He order muta, and Muhammad never received Quran of forbidding muta, is it up to Muhammad to forbid as he wish, or he should obey Allah? <clears throat> Um, let's see. You tell me. No, you are the Muslim, not me. For me, if I say a prophet, if I'm a prophet, I have no right to oppose what God said. I'm just a messenger. So if God says do muta, then okay, well, God says so. Who am I? I'm nobody. If God says don't do muta no more, then I will tell you, okay, God says don't muta. But there is no verse in the Quran Forbid the muta. There is no verse in the Quran that forbids temporary marriage. No, not Are a single sure? verse. In so, the in the chapter, it's uh, English. It's called women. It doesn't matter any chapter you want. <laughs> yeah, but that's where it talks about marriage a lot. No, yeah, but there's no verse. I'm, I'm, I know. I, when I say to you, trust me, I'm a Christian prince. I don't say things. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. Well, yeah, let's debate. I mean, we can dive into that, but... Um, what, what do you okay, mean, what do, what do you mean debate? I'm not sure. I'm saying, listen, I'll bring, uh, you know, Sheikh. Uh -huh. We'll talk about this. I'm not knowledgeable enough to talk about these things like the back of my hand. You, what, about, what about you call the Sheikh right now? I don't have any... I don't have a Sheikh yet. <clears throat> oh okay and besides it's 1 a.m so all right um well i don't know i i think the i think i think you still did not win on the argument of the displacing of the words because when we look at the way the messages were given to muhammad read it was within ayahs just read what i just showed you now on the screen it's still loading but all right um if you if you displace an ayah read. are you displacing words in, in the wrong place my friend you, nobody have the right to change anything for the book of god this is any anyone he change it nobody have the right this is called corruption if i give you a if i replace order of anything in the document made by government this is called fraud where does it but where, this is not the, so where does it say if you move locations rather than displace specific words it's the same displace it's not the same you see my friend i just told you that the verse about the jews about this place if you read yes. the interpretation and the story and i can show you the hadith 
The Jews yep. did not change anything. The guy, he just put his finger over the world. You Muslims, you but change the locations. The yeah, but he's not changing the location if he puts his finger over the word. Exactly. So how the Quran says displace when the fact did not displace? Because so, it's not talking about displacing by changing the locations. It's talking about displacing by the the words within the ayahs. Okay. So now if you change, if you put your finger, if you are a Jew, and you put your finger over a word in the Torah, the Quran says, you harifun. You harifun, the Muslim translation, this place is a, is a lie. Because you harifun, tahrif no. means corruption. No, 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 because it's not saying, yeah, it's not a lie. That is corruption, that is displacing, because you're literally, so how, how, was, how are the messages? There's no, there's no, the word displace is not, you know, is, is not this word. The word displace is an mawadi'ihi. So the word you harif, I'm talking about the word you harif. You harifun mean they are corrupting by displacing. The Quran saying that, not me. So by changing location, they are doing corruption. So the Quran gives definition that if you change location, you are doing corruption. That's not what I read. No, this is what it says. Here we go. Let me wait for you it's again. It's saying if you change location of words, displacing okay. words. My friend, but in the in the Torah. Okay, you are reading you are reading translation, but let me show I you. I read what's on the screen. Okay, do you see this word here? Chapter it four, verse number four. Chapter four, verse number forty-six in in yellow. Yeah, it's loading. Now. It's loading now. If you open right now any Arabic dictionary, you will mm -hmm. see that the word corruption means tahrif. Yuharifun is the continuous verb of corruption. So, يُحَرِّفُونَ الْكَلُمْ عَنْ مَوَادِعِهِ They are corrupting the words from its place, which means displace the word. But what the word is? Corruption. If we look at the translation now, and because you don't know Arabic, you mm -hmm. think it doesn't say corruption. It does. It's about corruption. Let me, let's change the translation, translator. Remember, this is a Muslim website. I'm not, it's not my website. But for of me, I do, not, I do not need... Uh, uh, you know the website this is for yeah. you for me I speak Arabic however you can take the word by one and post them in Google and you will see what the word Tahrif mean so look here the translation says they pervert words from their location what the pervert mean what, what the word pervert words mean like pervert well this one says pervert I don't know that. I never used this word before what does it mean I don't know uh, where's it? I mean translation saying that I thought your English is better than mine no <laughs> where does it say this uh, it says in front of you it says pervert the Jews oh here we go some of the Jews pervert the pervert words yeah what pervert from their mean? meanings uh, I mean I guess in, it sounds like it's just saying change words from their meanings ah like, okay so now you see every translation given us a different story so now it's not displacing suddenly it became changing the word meaning <laughs> See, I mean, this is a messed up religion. Everybody, no, give no, no. Me... So go back to the other one it, it, when it's talking about displacing words. I think you're missing the point where. No, no, I'm not missing the point. We can go. Listen, we it can says go, my friend. My friend, from, your, okay. from the right place. Yes. Okay. No, no, they did not. Yes, that's what it says. No, no. You see, it says "anmawadehi," which means its location, but the word "yuharif" mean to corrupt. Corrupt, yes. corrupting. You can go right now. You can do this. Let me help you. You can open Google Translation. Copy the word. Huh? Uh -huh. And paste in Google Translation. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, I don't have it in front of me. But All right. Let's see. Which chapter? Uh, chapter 4, verse number 46. Okay. But do you not see where it's the point where it says the right places? My friend, the uh, my friend, this is this is what they say. I mean, <laughs> no, but here, here's my point about this, right? How how were the messages given to Prophet Muhammad? How uh, it was through ayah. It was an ayah at a time. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Still, it's it not. Does. A, it's, it does it's, it's, no, it's, it's, still, you, it's still you have no right. If this is the last verse was given to Muhammad in his lifetime, you have no right to put it in the front. That's it. This is the last verse he gave. No, and actually, the, 
And actually, it's it, not how I, it makes I mean, sense, that, my friend, my friend, my friend. The verse naturally makes sense only if you put it in the right place. So why you change it? Today I completed your religion for you. Nothing wrong with that. I perfected your religion for you. So the the right thing to do is to keep it in its place where it is at the end of the book. So now, okay, so where where does it say that? It must be in chronological order. Ah, so now, it God, he have to say that to you, so you can play with the verses as you wish, because God did not say so. Well, I can do the same to my Bible then. Now I can take a sentence no, of Jesus. Hold on, saying, hold on. Yeah. So now I can take Jesus saying this, and I can change the page. I can put it in this uh, different in this uh, place. I can change this. I can mess up the whole book because if I can change one verse. I can change the all the verses, just to place them. I put them in a, I write them in a paper, and then I put them in a box. I mix it in the box, you know, I throw it from high building, and then I bring the box, and then each paper I touch first, I write it as verse number one, verse number two, second paper. Doesn't matter if the verse was in the right place or not. So, but this is what corruption is about, is about changing, because that will change the meaning. If I change... If I change it, it the location, it change the meaning. If you have context, like I said, uh, and so we have to define what the right place is. Are we are we talking about the, the right words? place? Is the right the right place, the right place Wait, hold on. Are we is about how when it says displaced words. The right we're talking the about right place. Ayas. Listen, the right place is what God gave you. It's not up to you to tell what is the right place. If God gave it to you, verse number ten, you put it number ten. If God gave it to you, verse number five hundred, then it's five hundred. It's not up to you. Are you correcting God? Are you saying God, he gave it to you in order and you found that your God order is not right, so you decide to correct it? No, but at the, at the, on the other hand, it's not saying that you cannot change the orders of the, of the ayahs because it's not saying... But this is what corruption it's, 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 is. I, if I listen, change the it's order, saying, it's my not, friend, it's not because it's, if I change nothing. the order of any book, I am playing with the book. Anyone have a little brain. But according to what? According to your own opinion? According to you. According to you because corruption is a changing. So I'll, exp I'll explain my, my, my philosophy on this. There's no it philosophy. Says, your no, philosophy you have to my listen. friend, you my have friend, to... your philosophy is equal to nothing and my philosophy is equal to nothing. Because when we say corruption, changing the book of God, it's not about opinion, your opinion and my opinion. It's about changing the book of God. And nobody has the right to touch and to change what is supposedly is a revelation. This is not, uh, okay, Muhammad so said again, this. I'm not the right person to debate on why it's in, uh, not in chronological order. But here's all I'm trying to say. Let me get my point out. It's, it's saying displaced words from the right places. Let us go back to zero. I... Let us go back to zero because obviously you are stuck with it. But let us go here. So here your prophet saying, you remember you said to me where it says that Muhammad never received Quran. Read this hadith with me. It says here, the verse of at tamatto you know, the Wajil Muta, uh, was performed and nothing was revealed in the Quran to make it illegal. So why Muhammad, he make it illegal if Muhammad never receive a message from Allah. Is he Allah? I'm, I'm not sure. And that's why I'd like you to are get not, a You are not sure if he's Allah? He's knowledgeable. No, I'm not sure on your question. The question was... My question is, Allah, my question is, question. if my God gave me a command to do muta, do I have the right to oppose God command and make my command to forbid God command because the one who allow it is God. So who is the one you must then follow and worship? Is it of Allah? Of course, I mean, this is, this is very like rudimentary stuff. This is very obvious. All I'm saying is this, is, this would be a clear cut, you know, contradiction that we're just following Muhammad's teachings. So there's things you have to look at that I'm not smart enough to look at. Because I have humility. Well, you do not need to look at it. I just gave it to you. I mean, you can take a look at it, but now you are denying that I'm showing it to you on the screen. This is a Bukhari. I'm not. I'm not denying anything. But okay. I mean, this so is what when is, you this say to me, I need to look at you. Are are you buying time, my friend? What, uh, what is this? What What am I reading right now? What, who's, we are who's reading. Writing? We are reading Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. This is Al Bukhari. One, two, two, six, C. This is Al Bukhari. 
four five one eight. So Hajj, sorry, uh, uh, the muta never yeah. been forbidden by Allah, and there's no Quran came for it, and Muhammad, you know, he forbid it. So if there's no Quran, Muhammad have no authority because he's just a messenger. The Quran. Okay, so says, what you're saying is the 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 books, the Sahih book that we believe in and that we read. It's physically saying there's a contradiction within the Quran between what Allah is saying versus what Muhammad exactly is Muhammad he forbid it. Muhammad okay, he so forbid it. I'm sure there's an explanation for this because it, if it's so clear cut saying that there is a contradiction, you're telling me that the narration, the Sahih narration, is saying that there's a contradiction. I know what to say for you. I mean, after all, explain. Are you asking me? Are you asking me what I'm saying? If Allah, yeah. if Allah gave a verse. Do you have a right as a human being to cancel what Allah ordered you to do? Yes or no? No. Okay. So how Muhammad, he forbid what Allah allow? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure there's a Well, because he's a false messenger. He's playing games. You know, a, 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 a person, a person who follow God, he will not temper with the word of God by the mood. Same time, what kind of God allow you to marry a woman for five minutes? The, is this even, is this even, this is not even hadith, this is, what is this? The muta is in the Quran. I know, but you're, you're telling me that the, the Sahih al-Bukhari is saying that there's a clear-cut contradiction. It's in front of you. Muhammad, he forbid, so, I mean, Muhammad, he forbid okay. what Allah allow. Okay, I'm gonna. So you you said that these videos are recorded, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this part of the recording, yeah. and then I'm going to bring it a sheikh on it, and after, someone who's not after we finish, after we finish, of course, you can start from the time you call me, record your yep. record your screen, because I don't keep my videos for long, and my mm -hmm. video is so long, maybe it will take you forever to record to to, uh, to download everything. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you can record the part, the time from the time you 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 would call me, and then we finish. Okay, we'll and, have a good conversation. And, uh, you can feel cool. free. You can load it in your if you have a YouTube channel. You can load it in your feel free. You can use it as you wish. I give you permission. So look, Amazing. so look now, Muhammad is a prophet of God. Muhammad he came to deliver a message of God. Is the message of God, which from God, teaching me decency, or teaching me to be a filthy person going after lust to rent a woman, pay her money. So she will take off her panty for me. Is that what God teach you? Is that what God's teaching me? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't read any of that in the Quran. No, this is what the Quran is saying. You agree? You said to me. You said to me. You said to me. You heard of the muta. You know what the muta. So what this muta mm -hmm. is? Muta is you rent a woman. You rent a woman literally. And Temporary you nikah. Yeah. What nikah? I mean, this is rent. 